Have you ever set out to do something big, but as time goes on, it somehow just never gets done? Why is that? The critical moments that determine whether or not our goals will be achieved are in the small everyday decisions we make. Our ability to keep focused in those moments determines the outcome. This is my journey in the decisions I made for 30 days to create consistency in my training and habits that will make me a better mountain biker. All right, this is the space that I have to work with. These are the tools that I have. I have an exercise bike here. I have some, a decent weight set. Here's the plan. 15 minutes on the bike every day and then 15 minutes of weightlifting every day. There'll be some days where I want to just like go out and ride once my ankle's better and that'll be an exercise. Boom, 15 minutes. Now we're gonna move on to... That is a wrap for day one. Believe it or not, we did all that in 15 minutes. It's crazy. A little bit of cold brew coffee. Oat milk. Vegan protein with superfoods filled with phytonutrients. <clears throat> My version of a pre-workout. Man, I was really not feeling it today. I didn't sleep well last night, but I really feel like I should be able to do 15 minutes of biking and 15 minutes of weightlifting every day. Let's see how it actually goes. So how do you navigate feeling sore? Do you push through it? Do you do some sort of active recovery? Do you just rest? And I do think there is a delicate balance and you need to listen to your body. But I also think there is a way to continue to work out and do some active recovery. Another reason why I feel like 15 minutes on the bike is better than nothing is that there's proven cognitive benefits after you work out. As a physician, I want to be as sharp as I possibly can and give my patients the best care. Another thing to consider is just cumulative workout time. Yeah, it's only 15 minutes, but if I do 15 minutes every day, that adds up. All right, I just got home from work. Let's get in and do our afternoon workout. Hey, bud. It's Wednesday, so I start a little bit later at work, so I'm gonna get my full workout in before work. I'm actually gonna start today by finishing the Pilates workout that I started yesterday and then do the bike. Got home from work and now I'm gonna do a little bit of evening yoga. So this is the morning of Friday, May 29th, and after work, I'm gonna make the drive up to New Smyrna Beach. I have some family visiting from Georgia, so I'm excited to see them bringing my surfboard. So I'm gonna get my whole workout done before work right now. Um, gonna finish the yoga workout that I started yesterday and then 15 minutes on the bike. I just made it to New Smyrna. It was about a three hour drive. Family! A little nervous because this is the first time ever I'm using my GoPro without a case in the water.
So I'm at work. Today's been a busy day. Woke up early, had to drop off my car. When I get home, I have Bible study, so I have zero time to work out when I get home. So I have about an hour break, so I'm going to do 100 push-ups. I'm gonna do increments of 10 at a time. <laughs> Allie saw me doing this uh, push up challenge and she wanted to join in here. <laughs> So I think I'm 12 days or so into this everyday workout thing and I only have a couple muscle groups that are not sore. So I'm gonna work out those muscle groups this evening. Gonna do some pull-ups and incorporate some abs into that. So kind of with a similar idea that I was doing yesterday at work with the 100 push-ups in however many sets I could accomplish that, I'm gonna do 50 pull-ups in however many sets I can accomplish that. That'll do. And oh, excuse me. Thank you. All right, 10 VMs. See, the most important thing is consistency. And then you can incorporate some intensity along the way. Let's do another round. 10, 10, 10, then we're done. First day back on the bike. It has been raining here two weeks straight at least. Maybe even three. It's gonna be muddy. I hope this video brings you some sort of value. I hope it's not just boring time lapses, me working out and stuff. There's a difference between wanting to do something and actually doing it. It sounds like common sense, but why are there so many people who have all these goals but don't reach them? So that's what this video is. It's like the actual grind of what does it look like to actually work out every day? So I hope this turns out to be something of value. Just seeing someone getting after it, at least doing something every day. So I made it to the end of the week. It is Friday after work and tomorrow I want to be fresh to put in a solid day on the trails. So I'm not going to be doing anything too strenuous, just probably going to do 30 minutes of yoga.
Yesterday was the only day that I did only 15 minutes on the bike as my workout for the day. And that is because as soon as I got home, the pretty much only thing I did other than kiss my wife hello was work on a YouTube video. By the time you're watching this, it's already posted. So today is Wednesday, which is usually my late day at work. Got home at 725 and I'd like to work out. I was hoping to do some legs today, but I have Bible study in like five minutes. Uh, so obviously no time for that. And the reason why I'm prioritizing it is because of uh, 1 Timothy 4, verse eight. While bodily training is of some value, godliness is of value in every way, as it holds promise for the present life and also for the life to come. So I'm gonna choose to prioritize that and then Friday evening and I'm pumped, made it through the work week. It felt long, don't know why, um, but friend Hunter reached out and we're gonna ride a lap at Markham. So I'm stoked to do that as my workout this evening. We got a severe thunderstorm warning. You could probably see the clouds in the background. And look at what the forecast looks like. Hunter, hello. Hi. What are your chances that it's not going to rain? Uh, it's probably going to rain. It's going to rain. Oh my gosh. It does feel like it's about to storm. Right Hunter's, Hunter's towing me and I've never hit this before. Yoo-hoo! <laughs> nice. I did not want to get out of the way. I saw I was like, all right, I'll just wait. This isn't sketchy at all. And now the sun's coming out. Oh! The brake did not work oh no and I decided to fall after the trails for some reason that's how it goes as I was looping out I just tapped on the brake and nothing happened <laughs> it caught me totally off, off guard and I sprained the ankle that I just recovered from again so that's that sucks but I'm gonna push on, I'm gonna continue working out. And I don't know, I think I just do upper body stuff. And it was literally right next to the camera. Yes, thank you. Yes, you're cute. I think that's all I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna do two sets of each, because I wanna be able to do the exact same thing tomorrow, so I'm thinking. So today is our one year wedding anniversary. Yes. So just gonna get a quick workout in. I don't even know what day I'm on right now. It's a lot. It's a lot. It, we're getting close to 30. He's awesome. If not, oh, you're so sweet. I know. If not already 30, I need to go through my footage. Ankles getting a little better, but no bike yet. I'm just gonna. Do some push-ups, pull-ups, sit-ups, and then hang out with this one. And that my ankle's doing well enough to get on an exercise bike. Um, obviously, if I were to go outside and do a bunny hop right now, that uh, would not go over well. But I'm at least happy to get some pedal strokes in for work. can bend the ankle to right about here, which is good enough for one-legged squats. So, and on each side. Wow. 
That was just one set. <clears throat> you guys probably don't want to see this again, so I'm gonna just do a time lapse of the second set. Friends, today is day 30, the last day. And just reflecting back, I'm not really very sore today. I decided to kind of turn down the intensity just so that I could be consistent. And I knew if I was extremely sore every day, I wouldn't be able to keep it up. So in doing so, I've created habits that I'm gonna keep up with. And this is just the beginning. I've created the habit, now what am I gonna do with it? If you wanna see future videos like this, vlogs, let me know in the comments. I'm passionate about nutrition. Let me know if that's something you'd like to hear about. Or if you guys are interested in specific workouts, let me know what you'd like to see in the comments below. Guys, today, Laura also has an announcement. I think we're... <laughs> no, we're not pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I feel like a celebrity with my hair blowing in the wind. Mmm, you are. I finished my residency today. Woo! Yay. High five? Weird high five? <laughs> there it is. On a less exciting note, I finished my 30 minutes. Very exciting. <laughs>